everybody. It's still Banned Books Week, and I want to follow up from my post that I did earlier this week about Brent Hartinger's wonderful book, Geography Club, which, as I told you then, is a coming out story, but it's, it's way more than a coming out story. The thing about the Geography Club is that it opened a lot of doors. It wasn't the first book to feature gay characters, not by a long shot. But it was the first book to really show um, gay characters in a light that can, could be called, quote, normal. Um, and I've been thinking about this all week, and, and what really has brought this home is the incident at Rutgers this week in which a young freshman, only 18 years old, uh, committed suicide by jumping off of a bridge. Now. Whether he was gay or not, who knows, and um, it might not have been that that drove him to commit suicide, although I rather suspect it was, because he was videotaped, uh, live streamed, having a sexual encounter with another boy. So this drove him to commit suicide, or at least we can assume that it did. And I think this brings the whole question of books featuring gay kids into a really a more intense light. Um, books have the power to save lives. I know that they do. I believe that they do. Otherwise, we wouldn't work so hard at this profession. And so I want to mention a few other books that have come out recently, and I believe that they um, are really um, out because I think they're, they're available to us partly because Brent wrote The Geography Club. Um, one that I was very touched by and moved by last year was, was Sprout by Dale Pick. And again, my copies have, have flown out the door, um, which I believe books should do. Good books shouldn't just sit on a shelf. They should, they should find, find readers to read them. So, okay, so Sprout by Dale Pick. Um, I really, I just loved this book. Um, likewise with this one, Vast Fields of Ordinary by Nick Bird. Um, another love story, actually. In fact, all of these are love stories. The Geography Club was a love story. Sprout was a love story. So is Vast Fields of Ordinary. And so is this one, Ash by Melinda Lowe. This is a spin on the Cinderella story. Um, it features the Cinderella character as a lesbian. Um, so there you go, whole new take. And why not, is what I say. Um, in my own book, Kissing Tennessee, I have one story in here about a boy named Cub who is questioning his sexuality. It's a very, very discreet story. Unless you read through the lines of the book, you really can't even tell that that's what it is. Um, but that, that book has gotten hit over and over by um, by people and it and the other stories I, there's a story in there about a date rape and there's also a story about a uh, a father who uh, essentially you know batters his daughter because she wore had the audacity to wear makeup but it, neither of those stories is ever called called into question it's always the story about the boy who's gay that gets um, hammered and so um, I think this is, you know, it's something that we need to deal with in our society. And I think we can start by championing those books that feature gay characters. Now, a lot of people have questioned me about my gay merman in Keeper. And I'll grab the cover of this book. And um, the thing is, it's very subtle. I intentionally did it that way because my goal was to show two boys who loved each other in the most normal light possible. Now, I'm not gay. I have no idea what it feels like, what it must be like to uh, to have to grapple with that on a daily on a daily um, matter and. 
and so, you know, there's no way that I can truly understand what it's like to be discriminated at that level, to be discriminated against so much that it would cause me to jump off of a bridge and end my life. But in honor of Tyler Clementi, the young man that, that did that, I think it's up to all of us to provide books, to champion books, that feature characters who are like him and who, um, and who also present love in the most normal and the most um, radiant way possible. And why this is so important to me is because I have been so fortunate and blessed to have the love of my life in my life, to have been married to, to my husband Ken for over 30 years. And um, I believe that anybody who has ever experienced true love wants that for everybody. And um, if you have experienced true love, why would you ever, ever deny it? And why would you ever make fun of it? Which is what has happened with um, Mr. Clementi. Somebody made fun of the love that he was experiencing in his life. Love is never to be diminished, never. And so when people start attacking books that feature gay characters, I think they attack love at its most basic level. At its, I think they attack love right squarely in the heart. And to me, that is a tragedy. And I think we're gonna keep having more people jump off of bridges, sadly, until we change our minds about this, until we honor love for what it has to offer. So there you go, signing off. <laughs>